Okay guys, first stream cut off, so just start again. Just wait for some people to join, hopefully a couple will. Wait a few more minutes before I start anything, just to see if anyone shows up. Ah, we have someone watching now. I wondered how long it'd take. Hello, you are the first viewer, whoever is there. We're going to be building this today. I'm pretty excited about this set because I knew I wanted this as soon as I saw the leaked images. So I'll just see if a couple more people join first. Hello, Toxic Zebra ninety four. Yes, roses are red, and violets are blue. I do have no idea who you are. <laughs> Okay, you know me. That's nice. I guess I'm going to say that Toxic Zebra 94 is Archie. Yeah, I'm always correct. I'm very clever. Anyway, I think I'm going to start building now, so let's open this up. See how many bags we've got in here. So we've just got two bags in this set. It is the smallest in the series that's just small. 
and then we've got the instructions obviously and four stickers just some mirror stickers i wish they weren't stickers they could just print it that would be so much easier but the stickers work just annoying trying to position them correctly let's move back two to the side for now anyway we'll move the stickers to the side let's open this bag up. Okay, so let's start this build then. So let's build Hermione first. She must be the first figure in the set. I have quite a lot of Hermione figures. Where is a toss? There is. This one's a good one though, since it's so different. For, for, for one thing, she's in a Slytherin robes, which obviously isn't her own house. And the Slytherin robes seem to be the rarest of the robes that we've got, like, in any Harry Potter set so far. Just get one of the wands. I have so many wands at the minute. And then she also needs a butterbeer glass. Okay, we get this butterbeer glass in green. That is pretty cool to see. I don't know if you can see it. I can't seem to focus on this. It's a weird colour. But this is from the CMF. And it's in green to represent the polyjuice portion. That's pretty cool, actually. Hopefully we see more of them, because at the minute it's just exclusive to this set. So here is Hermione from this set. And now there is one other cool thing that I'm sure a few of you have seen. You can remove a hairpiece, and she has this alternate piece which goes over, which is Cat Hermione. So if you haven't seen the films, this is from when she drinks the Polyjuice Potion and it turns her into a cat because she got the wrong hair from who she thought she was going to become. I cannot get my camera to focus today. Let me see if I can get better light on it. So this figure is so, so cool. The cat piece looks amazing. The hair matches perfectly with the other hair piece, the regular hair piece. So I'm so happy with this. I'm just going to go try and sort out my lighting. I will be just one second. Hopefully this helps a little bit. Yeah, so here we can see Hermione. The eyes in yellow really work well, because in the film you don't actually see her properly, you just see her in the bathroom stall for a couple of seconds. So it's really cool that they actually bothered to create this. It looks so good. We've got the little cat ears up here, and some dark brown detailing. I think this is honestly one of my favourite Harry Potter figures. It's just so, so cool. Oh, dropped a wand. Let's pick that back up and put it back in the hand. I think I'll definitely be displaying with the cat piece on, because it just looks so good. And the Polyjuice push And just a little bonus as well. So we'll just put her to the back for now. And just put a hair piece with her. I have a lot of Hermione, but this one's just so much different from the others. Because pretty much all of them are exactly the same. So it's really good to get an actual variant that stands out, like a lot. And for the second figure in this bag is, of course, Harry Potter, but not the regular Harry Potter. As some of you know, it's the 20th anniversary of the Lego Harry Potter line. Which is why they have actually created these limited edition... 20th anniversary figures in gold so here we can see harry in gold this just looks it just looks great honestly i just love this figure so much as you can see on the back it says 20 years lego harry potter and the torso it's all like the regular one but it's got these sparkles and stuff on it just to make it really stand out. And just, this is going to be worth a lot, I think, in the future. Because they just look great. And there's one of these in every set that's come out on June the 1st, which is when I ordered this. I ordered it as soon as I possibly could. 
because I knew I needed these figures and these sets because they are so great. And I can't imagine this hairpiece coming in gold like ever again because honestly, who would need this hairpiece in gold? It's just so great. And he comes on a little gold minifigure stand, so that works really well. I'm just going to move my light a bit, see if I can sort this out. Okay. And now we've got the build to go into. So we've got a cauldron, obviously for brewing the polyjuice potion in. We need to put a spoon in there. And that's just like a little side accessory, really. Honestly, not sure why they've chosen Nugget as the colour for the tops of the potions. Like, it doesn't fit at all, really. I think it's just because they have some spare. It's not the best choice for it, really. It just doesn't look right. But it looks okay. It looks okay. And we'll just start building another bottle as well, because there's two. They're both diff differently shaped as well. This colour isn't too common either, so that's quite cool. But honestly, I don't know what you can exactly use that for. Not the greatest piece, is it? But now the actual set, which is, to be honest, it looks great from the box. I obviously haven't built it yet, but it just looks so cool. And this is the Hogwarts once I've built that, which I also do have the Chamber of Secrets. So let's start building properly. So we've got this blue floor. That's the same colour they used in the Hogwarts carriages on the Hogwarts Express. So it's not too common a colour. I think the only set I have that has a lot of these in is the Stranger Things set, and that's a pretty rare set now. So that's quite cool. This is just the floor for the bathroom. It's quite an okay base. It's not too sturdy, but... It will be attached to the Chamber of Secrets once I've built that as well. So there we go, that's the carpet bit done. Just need to attach these grills all the way along here. This one don't want to go on. Okay, so they're all the way along there. That's, I'm guessing that's supposed to be the grating in the bathroom. After Moaning Motor floods it. I assume, anyway. And then this piece, we just go in here. These pieces aren't too common either, actually. It's quite cool to see some more of these. On here, got another viewer now. I think I'm building this right. Yeah, I am building this right. I just want to show for a second. Honestly, I tend to build stuff wrong a lot of the time. Okay, we're getting a few more viewers now. Um, If you're there, then feel free to talk in the chat while I attempt to find this piece. I found it. Okay, so this is the bottom of the sink at the minute. Just building this up. 
putting these corner pieces on. Giving it a really like dynamic shape, like the angles. You don't tend to see a lot of angles like this in Lego sets because obviously it's built out of blocks. You you tend not to see anything that awesome. Hello, Cookie Crumbs animation. Thanks for joining us. So we've got some pins here. I assume they're to connect it to other sets because they all have like this modular system. They have a new system for this newest wave. I'm still not 100% sure whether that's good or bad, but I guess we'll find out once I've built it all. Either way, I love the sets. Some clips. I'm not sure what these will be for. Maybe like pipes or something. Or to add the angle for the actual bathroom sinks. Okay, so this is some plates here. So this will be behind. This will be where the sink opens up i assume and you can drop her a student down into the chamber of secrets go on to the next page okay and some bricks to go on i suppose i have to keep the detail for the outside of the castle because obviously this attaches so we need this bit to look just as good as the rest of the castle it can't just look bad just because it's the back of the set Okay, so we've got this bit going out. I'm wondering what that is. I haven't seen that bit yet. Ooh, I'm building in the wrong place now. I need to look where I'm putting the pieces. There's the other angle. Okay, I'm guessing this might be maybe like a window or something for the castle. I'm not sure. Because I haven't actually seen the back because they don't show it on the box. And I haven't really watched any reviews on it just because I wanted it to be kind of a surprise when I got it. Let's go on to the next page. Yeah, I think I was right. I think it is a window because this is what we're going to be building next. Okay, so let's go. Thank you, Cookie Crumbs Animation. Your Doom Eternal stop motion came up in my recommended again today, and it's amazing. Great job. Thank you. That animation was so much fun to do. Doom is like, it's my all time favorite game, really. So I knew I had to do a stop motion. I did one like a year ago or something, and to be honest, it was terrible because I wasn't a very good animator back then. But I've like, I've upped my frame rate and learned how to do better movements and stuff like that. Like, I've watched a lot of videos on it just to try and up my game. So I think it helped. So thank you for liking that video. Because honestly, it was one of the most fun videos I've done, uh, stop motion wise. Because it was just some good to do. That'd be really cool if you did a stop motion on it too. I would definitely watch that. I think I've probably watched every Doom Lego video on the internet. Just because it's such a good game. And honestly there isn't that much. Not that many people have built it in Lego. Hi Zach GBT. Thanks for joining us. How's it going? Okay, building some details up on here. Got the green tiles, that's because in the new sets they've gone for green rather than grey, which I think it looks better, but it also doesn't fit with the older wave really. So if you're just getting this wave, it works really well. If you have the old wave, it might be a little bit annoying. I can see why some people aren't happy with it. Okay, this is going on here. This is really good. This adds some detail to the act actual outside of the castle i really like that bit actually and i've got another one of these window wall element things these look, always look good i like getting these they just fit well with loads of things the new star wars summer wave i don't think i have seen any pictures of that actually uh, what sort of sets is there? i haven't actually seen it yet i have to check it out after this I haven't actually bought any Lego Star Wars for a while. I do like the theme. It's just I've, I think a lot of people have noticed. They just seem to keep like remaking builds they've done before. 
well, not the same builds, but it's the same like ships and stuff. I would really like to get an X-wing though, in particular, because I don't have an X-wing. Building the back of the toilet now, I think. Hello, Dragon Mike. Thanks for joining us. You are always here, Dragon Mike. This bit's a weird build. They've kind of made this tile weird. Yeah, this set is quite small. They could have maybe made it a bit bigger. I still like it, though. It is. Like, it's the smallest set in the wave, but I think they just have to make some small sets. Because it, it kind of depends on, like, your budget. Because, personally, I don't have a massive budget. Hello, Damien Lego Studios. An Imperial Troop Trans A new Mortar Stormtrooper sounds pretty cool. That one sounds really good. I have to check that out. Which bit am I building next? I have lost my place in the instructions. Oh, right, here we go. Okay, so it's brown bit. I'm not sure why this part of the wall's brown. I think it must just be to go with the rest of the stall. I assume anyway, because it otherwise it just looks a bit out of place. Okay, building the rest of the stall now, I think. I get many 3 by ones they always look incorrect. Damien Lego Studios, thank you for... Yeah, I hope I reach 2,000 soon as well. I'm not that far off now, am I? Honestly, like, the last few months, I have had insane amounts of subscribers compared to before. I built this bit one. Because, like, for the first year on YouTube, I think I ended up with, like, I think 150 subs about. And then since then, it's just been kind of insane. They've gone up so fast. I mean, I've been getting, like, I think I've been getting about 10 a day, which is just something I never expected. I thought it'd take me, like, like five years or something to get to a 1,000, to be honest. I think I've built this wrong again. Yeah, I've built it wrong again. I always seem to do this where I guess what the next step is going to be. These clips I'm guessing for the door. Yep. This is all of that bit. Okay. This corner piece kind of looks out of place, sort of, like, it doesn't look like it needs to stick over like that. I'm guessing it's just to keep this stable, but it just doesn't look quite right, honestly. And some more of these masonry bricks back to make the wall. It looks really cool from the outside. This grey piece looks a bit, like... Doesn't quite fit, but it's just one little plate, so it doesn't affect the build that much. And the inside's looking very cool so far. Here we've got another Technic pin up here to connect the rest of the sets, I assume. Because I think, I think these ones are more customizable. You can kind of put everything everywhere, if you know what I mean. Like there's room for everything, and you can switch it around as much as you want, which I think is quite cool because. Obviously, Lego's supposed to be creative, so it really helps when you're not restricted just by the instructions. You can put things wherever you want. What is my favourite Lego set? Um, that's a good question. I would probably say the Diagon Alley Lego set, because that one was just so much fun to build and it looks so great. But I also love the Stranger Things Lego set. That's another one that takes pride place on my shelf. Why, what's your favourite Lego set? Everyone in the chat. This doll looks pretty cool. I've never got a doll like this. I think it's from the Saloon Lego sets. Okay, that's it for the first bag. So this is what you get after building the first bag. 
I'll just move these spare pieces out of the side. I love getting spare pieces. Especially when the slightly rarer pieces that you don't get many of. Let's open up this second bag. And just a little bag inside. Looks like we get the chocolate frogs in this one. I'm, I was really excited to get these chocolate frogs. I really hope I get some good ones. So, honestly, I don't know who they are. I think this one's Ollivander, I think, based off the picture. I don't know if I can focus it properly. It looks like the Ollivander minifigure. Uh, so that's quite cool. He's one of the good characters. So we'll put him back there. I think we get six more of these in the Chamber of Secrets set. And this one, um, I am not sure who that is. If anyone knows what that is, can you tell me? Like in the chat or in the comments? Because I would love to know who that is, otherwise I'm probably just going to Google it. You like the City Live? Yeah, that one is a good set. I like, I like a lot of the City sets, but I end up not buying them. Just because, honestly, like... I don't know, I just don't have room for a lot of them, even though they're really good, and I like getting the licensed stuff a lot anywhere. Let's just build Harry. All Lego modules. Yeah, I wish I had more Lego modulars, because the only ones I've actually got are Diagon Alley, and the rest, of I really want the police station one, because that one I really like the look of. I just never got it, it was like... A bit out of the price range, especially since there was other things I was wanting to buy as well. The assembly square. The assembly square was really cool. I like the fact that they have all the classic Lego faces as well. And the diner. Yeah, the diner, I loved that set. But I think, is that one retired now? The 6... I do not know which one the 60283 one. Anyway, we've got these Harry and Ron figures, and I love the new facial expressions, especially for Ron. Harry's looks a bit too angry, but Ron's really looks like he's just going to be sick from drinking the polyjuice potion. And then the cool thing with these figures, you can take off the hair, switch the head around, and put on the new hairpiece. And there we have Crab. That's Ron. So that's our first time getting Crab as a Lego figure in this wave. And we do the same with Harry. And that is Goyle. And Goyle looks really good as well. I think I prefer Crab though. But it's so good to get these finally. And as I said, there's more Slytherin robes here as well. Because we haven't got that many Slytherin robes. I think I only have one of these type of robes, which is for Draco. And then I also have the jumper for Draco. It is a really good feature with the different heads actually. Yeah, I really like that, and I think I'll be displaying them as Crab and Goyle just because I have loads of Harry and Ron already. But I can always switch them around if I feel like it anywhere. But I really do like the face for Crab, it just looks... It works so well, it actually looks like he does in the movie. In that scene where they grab the cupcakes and fall asleep, and that's when they pull the hair out for the polyjuice juice potion. Um, let's go on to the set anyway. Okay, so it looks like we're building a column. I'm guessing this is for in the corner or something. Another Technic pin. To attach it again. It'd be kind of cool if Hogwarts fit in with the modular system. Imagine just having your Lego City with a massive Hogwarts castle in the middle of it. It'd look kind of crazy, but also really cool. Putting some pins in this part. I'm guessing this is... They normally seem to only put them in one part. Okay, this goes at the back here. Okay. And this piece is weird. I've never actually got one of these pieces before. I'm assuming they're quite rare. They look really strange. Like, is this supposed to be detail or can you attach something? You can attach bricks onto it. I don't know if you're supposed to, but you can. This is a really weird piece. I like this piece. I assumed when I saw the pictures that it was just going to be like some of these pieces with an arch on top. But but no, it's like a, a fully moulded piece. This looks really cool. 
This just goes on the edge for like the entryway into the bathroom. It really fits with like the Hogwarts aesthetic. And then this piece just goes in the corner for stability. Yeah, it does look like a mix of two pieces. That's genuinely what I thought it was when I first saw the pictures of the set. I just assumed it was like like a bigger arch with a couple of columns next to it. Um, let's see, carry on building the wall. So this piece just goes up here. Then one of these longer pieces at the back. And another three by. There's a lot of three by ones in this set. Normally you don't get that many of them. Normally they're just there to even out like odd builds and stuff. And corner piece. These corner pieces seem to constantly be in Harry Potter sets. I, I swear these are the only sets that have this many in. Just keep the corners stable. And it's a long piece goes in the middle. Okay, uh, see Cookie Crumbs animation. I'm in Australia, it's getting later. Yeah, I can imagine that. I'm in the UK, so kind of the opposite time, pretty much. Some of these pieces here. These look pretty cool. These are like, um, they're quite fancy. Though. Marcus Bricks, hello there. How's it going? Okay, here is an archway. This fixes this side over. Okay, it's getting even on top. Good, good. Okay, I think it's time to move on to the actual sink now. This is the part I was most excited about. The sink just looks so cool in this set. Okay. So I have to build two of this base, so I'll build two at the same time, rather than go back. A lot of the time with sets I end up... Oh, you've got assignments, you, yeah, I hear that. I have some to do. But I'll probably end up doing them last minute. That's what I normally end up doing anyway. Okay, I've got some angled plates on here. These look pretty cool. I'm guessing these kind of like fit together. Uh, bye, Max Bricks. See you next time. Okay, we've got some of these pieces. I'm guessing these maybe like clip onto the clips we built earlier to get that angle right, I think. And then we put some two by twos on top of here. And now the sink. I understand why two of the sinks are just regular sinks, but I wish the middle one had had the snake moulded onto it. Because that's kind of like a big deal in the films. The fact that the snakes are... Because that's the reason he can speak um, parcel tongue. And that's how he gets into the chamber. So it's kind of a shame that they didn't mould a snake on or somehow build it. I'm not sure how they'd build it really. I don't think I've ever seen these pieces in white. I'm going to guess that that's new because... Unless they've been used for an X-Wing, I think, maybe. Some of these grill pieces in white as well. These kind of fit well with the aesthetic of the bathroom. So we'll two of these sinks. All these tubes are rolling away. Guessing these are where the mirrors go. Yep. Now it's time to put the stickers on. I am not good at stickers at all. Let me see how I can do these. Okay, the first one. Not that bad. Let's see how it goes with the second one. That one is pretty wonky, but it's the best I'm going to do. You can't see my reflection almost. Inadvertent face reveal. <laughs> okay, more of these modified plates on the back. That must be to get the angle, I assume. 
I thought they'd be using those um, hinge bricks to be honest, but I think this works better, it looks more seamless. And now time for a lot of cylinders. That's one, and net for the other. Okay, these symmetrical perfectly. And now another one of these to hold it all together. This one don't want to go on. There you go. There's some little studs on top, just to complete the lock. And these just give it some Hogwarts style detail. These pieces do not want to push down at all. There we go. And now the other one. Okay, they're even. These look really cool. They are really detailed, actually. I really like the look of these. Just slide these pieces out of the way a bit. And bring in the bathroom. Yep, we do clip these on here. Just to get that look. Yep, there we go. This looks really great. I love getting angles like this in lego sets it makes it feel loads more dynamic than just some certain builds look a bit too square i like the fact that with the harry potter sets they've definitely leaned away from that like even the room of requirement from last year that had some strange angles in it and it just looked really great okay, this is the last sink now another angle there This piece works really well for the actual sink. It just looks correct, really. And this one has got a slightly different build to the others because this one is the one with the actual play feature. Okay, so this goes this way. And another sticker. See if I can do this one. Hopefully it's not as wonky as the last one was. Stickers just stress me out because you don't want to ruin the set by placing the sticker on badly. That's one of the things that annoyed me with Diagon Alley. The amount of stickers was just a bit insane. Okay, this piece is... I don't think I've ever got one of these pieces before. A 2x6 tile. Normally... They just come like one by six. Okay, top bit. This is part of the hinge. Which way does this go? This goes this way. So we've got some clips on here. That'll be to get that swing. And just some more clips on top. And this just attaches right in the middle, and you can swing it down, and that fits that fits in really well. Actually, that sink is such a great build. I actually really love this build. It looks so good, especially with this little feature that drops down into the chamber once I've built that. I am actually surprised at the amount of detail in that. I'm very happy with that. Okay, now I've got this piece. This is. I think this is normally used for garage doors. They slide up along this part. So it's cool to get that as like a bit of detail, I suppose. I think this is to hold up the rest of the castle once I've built that. And this piece just goes into the middle. And now we just need to tile off the rest of this. Uh, 
And then we've just got a couple of these studs to go with the tiles. This will just be to attach the rest of the build. And there we have it. There is the actual set complete. Let's look at some of the features and stuff. I just want to go back through the figures and stuff because the figures in this set are so great and the fact that all of them are exclusive. I think the only yeah, the fully exclusive. Like the Slytherin robes we've got before. We've got this face and hair for Hermione. But this cat piece is brand new. And I highly doubt that I'll ever come into any other set again because honestly I can't think of another cat person that looks like that that would need that mold. So that that one's so cool. And I, yeah, it's just so great to get a really standout Hermione variant. And then we've got, of course, the 20th anniversary figure, which looks really good. Obviously, this one's not made for, like, it's not made to fit with the rest of the crowd of figures. But these are su such a, like, good collector's item. They look so good in gold. It might have been cool if they had been in a chrome gold, but that might have made the set more expensive. But we've even got the wand in gold, which is... I doubt we'll ever see that again. That's really cool. And the little, like, sparkles on the actual outfit really just make it kind of stand out when you shine it in the light. That you can just see them if I tilt the right way. So they're more of a chrome colour. And the 20 years bit on the back just looks very good. It's got a bit of red, I think, around it, or bronzy colour. That's just to make that pop, I think. And then the gold minifigure stand, I don't think I've seen that before. That looks really cool as well. And then, of course, we have Crab and Goyle. It's so good finally getting these. Like, these are going to go so well with Draco because he needed his minions to go with him. And then, of course, these are Harry and Ron as well. You switch the first round before or after they've drunk the poor juice potion. And they've got the same hair pieces as normal, but some exclusive face prints. One looks like he needs to throw up or something. He does not look happy with the produce potion. And then Harry just looks a bit angry. I'm not sure why. I wish he kind of looked more disgusted or something. But I suppose it is just another face print at the end of the day. And we've not got one like that before. So that's cool. I'm just going to switch these back to Crab and Goyle. Because that's how I'm going to be displaying them. As Draco's minions. And then we've got the chocolate frog card. You get two in these and the random in every set. And these look really good. I like the purple tile and then some gold printing and the actual character is in silver. And I think if I'm right, you get six more in the Chamber of Secrets, which I'll be opening probably tomorrow and building that, but not on a live stream, I don't think. So these, yeah, I'm really happy with these. Hopefully I get different ones in the next set. And then we've got some little bottles of Polyjuice Potion. Nothing exciting there. Just average stuff, really. A little cauldron for brewing in it. Brewing the Polyjuice Potion in. And it's got a spoon in there. That's quite cool. Still not massively exciting. And then, of course, the set itself. I really, really like this part here. Is removable if you want to get like a more open view of it and then you just put it back for if you're attaching the rest of the castle on top of it now at the back we've got this the outside of the actual castle looking pretty good some pins here to attach the next parts and then some masonry bricks for some extra detail in there and the window looks really good despite the fact you can see the wall just behind it but Otherwise, you'd just see the back of the sink and it just wouldn't look right, so that's fine. And then, like I said, we've got this new arch piece, which is weird to see. I think it's new anywhere. I'm not 100% sure. And then, here we have the bathroom. This is where Hermione would be after turning into a cat. You can probably just fit her in there. I feel like Moaning Myrtle would have been a good figure to go with the rest of this set. Because it's her bathroom. She should be here, really. And I'm pretty sure this is the stall that she lives in. 
Or I'd assume it is because that's the main stall. And again, I want to point to the Polyjuice Potion glass that we've got here, which I absolutely love. Uh, I've got some other ones here. So you can see it compared to the orange one, which is the one that's full of the actual butter beer. So it's really nice seeing that in a different colour. I hope we get more of these in Harry Potter sets. Because as much as I love the butter beer one, I have like six of them now. And I don't really need any more. I would love to see them in more colours. It's a shame we didn't get more than one to go in this set. It would have been nice to get three to fit with all of the figures. Um, but I guess the potions are for the other figures really. And then the other feature set. So we've got the blue floor. That's nice to see. I think that's pretty accurate to the movies. And then we've got the sinks. Now in the films, the sinks like a whole round thing in the middle of the bathroom. So the layout here isn't actually true to the film. But if it was going to be true to the film, it'd have to be a massive set. And it just wouldn't fit with the rest of the Hogwarts. Like it wouldn't work if Hogwarts was mostly a toilet. So you can see why they've done this. And then of course this opens up if Harry speaks parcel tongue. It doesn't open all the way up unless you pop this out. And then you can flick it all the way up. And then let's just get crab and he can just slide down there. Well, he'll be able to slide down once I've built the chamber. I mean to put this back down and you'd never know there was anything there. Because it really is a chamber of secrets. And I just love the way this seamlessly like blends together. You can't actually tell that this is a hinge until you actually move it. And the mirror pieces are quite good. I just really do wish they'd been printed. And then the columns at the side and stuff, they just really look they look really great. Like they add so much detail to the actual set. So this set in general is just really like aesthetically pleasing. I really love this set. And I've really enjoyed building it on the live stream. We had a few people join us at like various times. Um, thanks for watching everyone. I think I'll be going now. Because since we've built the full set. I hope you enjoyed this stream. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. I'll see you next time guys. Bye.